Erica! Happy birthday! Yes, you are the best. I love how fun you are and how relaxed you make everyone feel around you. And because of that, you inspire all of us and um, and and spur creativity. So thank you for being in my life and uh, love you lots. Have a great birthday. My favorite thing about my Uncle Rod is his childish behavior. He's always willing to have fun and screw around, uh, but at the same time, he can go sit in a, in a conference room with millionaires and get them to put money into a program. Um, my favorite memory is a tough one because I have so many. But I think what I remember most is spending time with him in the summers when I was in high school. Uh, just having him take me around DC area and just having fun. But the thing that I remember the absolute most is riding on the back of his motorcycle, chasing hot air balloons in Iowa. And just thinking that I was the coolest kid on the planet who got to do that. Until, of course, he burned my leg with his muffler and then he got in big trouble for my mom. Love you, Uncle Roddy. Happy birthday. Hey, Rod. You're 60. How time flies. You were two years old when I first met you. You ran across your parents' yellow living room carpet on your toes as if it was just the most awesome thing in the world to show me. And truth be told, it was pretty awesome for a two-year-old. Even then, you were gregarious and curious and enthusiastic and loving. You remain so today. That began a 58-year relationship with a shy girl who became your sister-in-law, whom you believed forever was a nurse because she wore a white uniform to work in a hospital. In later years, Giff and I dubbed you the White Tornado because every time you arrived, and that was often, our entire house lit up with energy and vibrations. Interestingly enough, your arrival often coincided with a meal. Our home was one of your many fueling stations throughout the world, and more often than not, you never went home. You had the incredible knack of falling asleep in your clothing anywhere and everywhere. One moment you would be bubbling over with that seemingly inexhaustible energy, and suddenly the white tornado would wind down and you'd be fast asleep. It's been an extreme pleasure, Rod to watch you grow into the man you are. Happy birthday. Loving you to the moon and back, Judy. This is Mark. I understand Rod is 60. I happen to be standing within yards of where Rod and I met in the 1960s in the front of the home that his father built and his family he grew up in. And I'm his neighbor and I love Rod. I don't know how he duped Angela into partnering with him for life, but he did a great job. He's really good at it. I love you both. Um, I Okay, so a story, a Rod story. So other than, boy, so we grew up on the beach here together since we were eight and hung out and skipped stones and did everything else. And then as time went on, we... Except we didn't know each other, and then we got to back together when we were in college. He was at Alma, I was at Michigan State, both biology majors, and Rod happened to be the social chair of his fraternity. He said, Mark, come on up, it'll be a blast. So I went up and went to a party with Rod, and he had arranged for a large kegger at an all-purpose room in a church. What a blast. We had very much fun. But unfortunately, so many people spilled their beer and the tiles in the all-purpose room at the church stuck to people's feet. And so my first real interaction with Rod was showing up the next morning after the party to glue down hundreds of tiles that had come up from the beer. So I, maybe I should have gotten a clue. At any rate, then one time I went to the Amazon with Rod. We flew into Bogota and we saw Jose Maria. Uh, my, my 
favorite, one of my favorite people in the world is Angela Maria Garcia Vasquez. And her wonderful father, Jose Maria, and her family, the wonderful people. We were in Bogota. We fly down to the Amazon. We hire a local pescador and, and named Nestor Sangama and his son Ilson. And we go up in the Amazon. And we go up, we go up way up, and we find out that it's Nestor's birthday. So there has to be a surprise party. Well, it can't be too surprising because he has to drive us there. But we bought a bottle of Aguardiente. And Nestor very much loved it. His re- cheeks were rosy by 5 p.m. when we finally got to the village he grew up in. We climbed the hill, we got to this place, and I noticed there's two men with, and so we're quite a ways in the outback, kind of, you know, and there's two men with M16s in the party. I thought, this will be interesting, Rod said, yeah, it's kind of normal. Anyway, so Rod, I think, probably set all this up, so he got the owner of the home. It was a very popular party, there was about 25, 30 people there. Uh, it was very popular because somebody had a generator and somebody had a boom box, which was a huge deal. At any rate, so I think Rod probably talked the owner of the home, and I don't remember the man's name, but he talked his wife into giving me so, uh, some really cool liquor after the Aguardiente was gone. It was in a little carved out wooden bowl, and the whole village looked at me like, that gringo going to drink this stuff. And of course I had to, so I guzzled it and, oh, yay! And I found out later that, indeed, they had probably cut down virgin rainforest, grew sugar cane or corn or whatever starchy plant they had, and chewed on it for a while, spit it into a vat, and waited some time, and it became really good liquor. I think it's chucha. But it was wonderful. We had a great time. However, right after that, Rod... I believe probably talked the man into saying, hey, he probably said to the guy, hey, see if my buddy Mark will dance with your wife. And so the guy says, dance with my wife. And I'm like, I have two choices. If I don't dance with her, it'll be an insult, and he may kill me. If I do dance with her, he might be jealous and just maim me. But this is life with Rod. You got to get used to it. You got to be happy about it. I love you. Happy birthday. God bless you. Hey, Tata. Hey, Happy Tata. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday. Happy 60th birthday. We wanted to uh, send you a message, and uh, I've, I've been putting it off because uh, I wanted to say something meaningful and couldn't think of what to say because there's so many meaningful things because you mean so much to both of us, as you know. Um, and Amanda thought of the perfect moment to illustrate it, which is the moment that I knew that we would both get married, which was a June day in 2010. No. Yes. 2010. And it was the first day that we landed in Salvador do Bahia in Brazil and it was a it was an interesting year because I don't know if you remember my first year in college I didn't really jump directly onto a career track and a major track and took a bunch of music classes because that's what I knew how to do best in in high school and I had a lot of fun with the social aspects of college and uh, I like I didn't you know jump right into it like all these everyone else who seemed to know what they wanted to do and then sophomore year I decided okay it's biology and I started taking all my biology classes and um, but I still didn't fully have uh, a, a direction in school and Amanda had a grant right you had the Monroe scholarship and she, how did that work? So you, you. I called you for advice, or you offered. Can't remember exactly how, um, but one of my projects had fallen through, and I didn't have a place to go. And you just said, "Either I called you directly, or you got the message to me that maybe we should think about Brazil." And told me about this project that your friends were working on in Brazil, and and got me an opportunity to go there. And then once I was going, Morrison's like, that's the best fucking idea ever, and decided to come along. 
Um, yeah. So I recall you kind of had to get me up off my ass and, you know, you... I just, no, well, you just saw me going. You were like, that's awesome. I want that too. And you made it happen. Yeah. Yeah. And well, once that, and so that was actually the first grant I got was to go and that was the first time I wrote something, which is also the greatest skill you've ever given me. One of the greatest skills you've ever given me is being a good writer. And that was the first time I wrote something and it got me money and so that first day when we were both in Brazil and we realized that we were both here to study what we wanted to study and uh, Amanda was in a hammock and we got to Guy's house and unloaded our stuff and we just lied down in the hammock and Amanda was in the hammock and I was in a chair and I remember looking over at Amanda and realizing we're both here, we're both doing what we love um, and we're both doing something that we know is going to give meaning to our lives and we're doing it together and we can do it together. Um, and we uh, that was the moment that we knew, that I, I, at least I knew I, I could marry you and spend the rest of my life with you. Um, so, uh, and beyond that, Amanda pointed out today that, uh, you say it. I'll say that, I'll do another video. Okay. Um, but anyway, thank you. Thanks. For everything. And I hope you know that you have a deep, profound impact on your family and friends and all the people around you. And all of us are immensely grateful to have you in our lives and on the planet for these 60 years and many more to come. Many more to come. Love you, Tata. Love you, Tata. I look forward to working with you this year. <laughs> It's Amanda again. Um, I wanted to mention something that I noticed when I first met you, um, but I don't know if I've ever told you how much it meant to me. Um, when I first got to know you guys, the masks, and you heard about your work, I was very impressed by two things. Um, first of all, how, how very successful you were at your job and what you did and the impact pursuing the impact that you wanted to have on this planet. Um, and second, that you were surrounded by such a beautiful, loving, complete family. I've only noticed how rare that is as time has passed, as we've gotten older, um, as my friend's parents have gotten older how rare it is to see both of those two things together. Usually, I've seen so many examples of people who commit their all to their job or their career, whether it's for impact or otherwise, um, and they do so at very much, well, unfortunately, at the expense of their family sometimes. Um, and at the end of the day, they have a lot of impact and then they don't have people to come home to. Um, there were their kids, they don't have a whole family to come home to. And gosh, your, <laughs> your family is so beautiful and feels so complete. There's no lack there. And it's just, I was always so impressed that you were someone who invested time in both. That uh, you didn't skimp on your family even when I'm sure your career was super demanding. Um, and you can tell, and I respect that so much. And I aspire to that for both Morrison and myself is that even when we are so caught up in a career and a job and especially an impact driven one that we don't forget to love those people deeply, deeply love and care for those people directly around us. Um, so thank you. Thank you for setting that example and um, thank you for creating a family that I can be a part of and reap the benefits of. Love you so what much. What I learned from Rod is that if you bend the truth um, for example, if you tell people that you speak Spanish fluently, you can get a job working with like saving turtles at the beach. And so if you bend the truth and say that you've got tons of experience working with kids and speak French fluently, well then you can get a job in the south of France and then live there for like seven years. Happy birthday, Rod! Happy birthday! And uh, you know, I you know, I was thinking, Rod, when I think of the uh, rich experiences that 
we had with you from Morrison's wedding and uh, going back to the savage voyages, you're a supreme <laughs> leader and you took care of us. And I really, I think about you a lot about that. And I also remember that you gave me a book, Rod, uh, that you had read on all your flights going around the world. You probably, anyway, it was something about a kid with an air rifle or something. And I, uh, I didn't quite get it, but uh, in the margin of the book was uh, something that you had wrote that said, I want one of these. And so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I think your mother gave you that book. Or maybe was that the 11 that. Times of the Thunderbolt Kid? That's what it was. That's what it was. Anyway. That's uh, a great book. I yeah, love that book. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a note in the margin, but one of these. So anyway, I thought that was typically you. I thought it was great. Um, and I love that you love nature and the creatures and that you love to hug animals. I mean, I can understand that, of course. And uh, so one day, hopefully, you and I and all of us will ride in a wiener mobile. I think it's an important goal for us to attain. But anyway, thank you for everything that you've done. And uh, I just love you. And, and uh, I think about you a, a lot. So, Rod... That evening at the Field Museum, when you leaned over and introduced yourself to Ryan and me, it was a life-changing moment for all of us. Not just for Ryan and me, but for Bill, for Brian Hutchinson. And um, I just think about that, how you became a wonderful friend and Angela, you know, became my soul sister. And, you know, Morrison and Terrell, it was just so wonderful for us to be part of your extended fabulous family, including at Morrison's wedding recently. Our lives have been so much richer for knowing you. And so some of the things that I remember, one of the highlights of my life, or several of the highlights of my life, will be traveling with right. you um, on um, our adventures with Grupo Radmas. Oh yeah. And first in Peru and later in Africa. I can't believe we're I know, there are so Things memory memories. So here's one that I love. And Jump out of the boat, Bill, that you're, you're going to have to tie up. Cause, yeah, right. Because the bull elephant and the <laughs> mama and the baby, they're on different sides of the river. Right. So uh, Anyway, so well, the thing I remember was um, one, one time, particularly on that Peru trip, we were in the Cocoa Valley at that beautiful little inn. And we were sitting down to dinner as a group and the light was so beautiful and the food, we were having this gorgeous chicken soup with quinoa in it. And um, it was, I think the first time I'd ever had quinoa. And um, you guys started the dinner. You, I think it was you, you and Angela by singing, the earth is good to me. And so I thank the earth, earth for giving, giving me the things I need, the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The earth is good to me. Let's eat. And, you know, it oh was God, just, that's that. a song that we've sung at times that around our cool. dinner table. It was perfect. And in Africa, I remember our mobile camp and the nights under the stars. And oh you God. and Mike and Bill singing Sand all camp. the oldies. And I think somehow you guys got a guitar. I don't remember where it came from. But I just remember your yeah. joy. And your joy at inter introducing us to sand camp. And the whole bed stealing incident. And how much fun you got out of the fact that Mike and Young were stealing our bed. But then also that Bill put, you know, got the guy to put the bones on Mike's um, tent. And we you were totally we into it. We ribbed him a little bit. And, um, you are just have a great sense of adventure and a love for our earth and its creatures. It's infectious. We had it before, but you gave us this wonderful passion. You live a life joyfully and fearlessly. I learned a lot from you that way and try to live my life like that more than I had before I knew you. And um, I love being on the oceanic board with you. You and Angela and your boys have just inspired our whole family and give me hope and a commitment not to leave the fight for our earth, even in these pretty grim times. So I just want to say you are an extraordinary man, a Absolutely. wonderful friend. You have a generous spirit. And on your birthday and always, 
you're in our hearts and our minds and an inspiration and a rollicking good playmate. And we wish you the happiest of days and years ahead and a long and healthy life. So happy birthday. And oh, 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 look what I found. Oh gosh, you've got Here, leaves. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. We don't have any ash, do we? Don't matter. Run! Just on them. Just on them. <laughs> no way. Bye, My bye. favorite thing about you, well, I've got a lot of favorite things, uh, but the thing that I've been thinking about recently um, is how you made a promise a long time ago when I wanted to start reading books. You said, any book you ever want, I'll go get it for you. And same with albums. And you've always been really invested in um, my creative education. You've always supported me. And that's one thing I really love about you, among the many things that I um, absolutely admire. Um, look, I look up to you a lot. Um, yeah, I want to be you. Uh, so, what is it? What's your favorite memory with Rod Mast? Dude, there's too many. There's so many. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to chalk it up to like every time we've had to lug around Mr. Leatherback. And you've forced me to. Like, come on, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And it like wasn't fun in the moment. <laughs> uh, and um, here's Phil. He's just going to pop out out of my shoulder. There he is. Hello, Tata. Happy birthday. Um, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Uh, you've been a hugely important and positive influence in my life for my entire teenage and adult life. Uh, my favorite memory is every weekend you let me stay in your house. Uh, you're the best. Thank you for everything. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, dude. Uh, enjoy all the beer and all the friends. Love you. Dinner gifts. Cups. These cups. Good beer. Yeah. 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 I didn't have one. Now, <laughs> Dilly Dilly. Dilly. <laughs> and if it wasn't for Rod, we wouldn't know the difference between this and this. Because apparently, they can't tortoise, do that. that's tortoise. not natural. <laughs> tortoise and a turtle? Or I guess. Ooh, awkward. Dilly Dilly. 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 Happy birthday, Rod. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Cheers. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi Rod, this is Melissa and Marty and Monica and we all want to wish you a happy birthday. We're to share one of our favorite memories of you and we all agreed that it was when you and Angela came up to support us after Pop passed away and you came for the funeral and stayed with us after as a family and it was meant the world to us yes, it was it was wonderful and we appreciate it and it was you know the first true blending of the family 
Thank you, Rod. We really enjoyed it. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. And I also want to share my memory was that you were keeping up with the Holtzclaw side of the family uh, at after the funeral. And uh, you might not have lasted as long as the Ohio group, but you did your job. You did pretty well. So happy birthday and wish you mo loads more. So happy birthday. Love you much. Doc, don't you just love working here at QBC? Yes, I do, Jane. So many of our viewers are going to be so happy with the purchases that they just made. John, I know that you are really excited about the next items we have for our viewers. Yes, I am, Jane. We have offerings from a very famous person. Oh, well, don't keep us in suspense. Who is this very famous person? Well, here are some clues, Jane. He is a world-renowned naturalist and environmentalist. Oh. He almost single-handedly is responsible for raising awareness throughout the entire world of the need to protect sea turtle nesting beaches. Oh my. He has had a huge impact on protecting oh, our environment. That's important. Well, I can't stand the suspense. Who is this person? This person is the famous Roderick Mass. Oh. And we have two amazing items to offer our viewers. And, and, uh -huh. if they take advantage of these incredible offers, a bonus will be included that you are just not going to believe, Jane. Wow. I just can't wait. Let's see what we have. Well, first, Jane, we have a beautiful co-authored uh, book that is aptly titled Back from the Brink. Oh, or desde el umbral de la extinción. Su español es magnífico. Oh. And Jane, that is just what rot is about, bringing endangered species back from the brink of extinction. Well, that is beautiful. It's just beautiful. And imagine how excited your guests will be when they see it on your coffee table. Jane. I know, I know. I want to reserve one for me. Well, not so fast, Jane. This is going to sell out fast at a price of just $79.95 because for just $10 more, our viewers will also receive Rod's other wonderful book, Wildlife Spectacles. Oh, John, this may be even more beautiful than the other. And this is an amazing book for just $10 more. Wow, we have some deals on QVC, but this one is really special. Wait, Jane. Oh, just wait. This isn't all. If our viewers act within the next 10 minutes, they will also receive this. Oh my, you're just not going to believe this. Rod has gathered up about a thousand of these from the oh. jungles of the Amazon. This, this is a blow amazing. dart. Yes, yes. But a little ominous. Yes. Like poisonous. Well, let's just say, Jane, if you go with this fantastic offer, your enemies better beware. Oh, so viewers, take advantage of this once in a lifetime offer from QVC. Both of Rod's books and the blow dart may be poisonous for just $89.95 plus shipping and handling. And now, live from Oak Hill, Virginia, thank you, Rod, for all you do to make our world a better place, and happy birthday! Happy birthday, Rod. You gave me some of the most memorable experiences of my life. Uh, the trips to South America and Africa that we took when I was in high school, those were pivotal moments, and they really made me who I am today. Uh, you're such a great role model, you've got such a wonderful family, and thank you so much for all that you've done for mine. Keep saving the world, one species at a time. Love you. This is a message for Roderick Baker Mast, son of Gifford, father of Morrison Baker, and Terrell Alejandro, protector of turtles, rider of foot cycles, swinger of kettlebells, and eminent Dolphin Pugilist. Rod, we have a lot of awesome memories together, but one of my favorites was when you would bring the dart gun to Lake Ann Elementary. That was so much fun, and that stupid animal never saw it coming. That stuffed animal, you got him. All right, here's the cat for 
a little bit extra. Okay, bye bye. Happy birthday, man. Bye. Happy 60th, Rod. Happy birthday, Rod. We're so happy that you are a, a dear friend of ours and that we can celebrate with you on this big day. It's a big milestone. <laughs> I, I passed it uh, nine years ago myself. So. <laughs> I love, Rod, that you are such a good man. You're such a good family man. You're so devoted to sweet Angela, who we love with all our hearts, and your two beautiful boys. And um, I love the work that you do. You're my hero. I am so proud to know you and that you are one of the authors of this amazing book. I'm so grateful to have a copy of it. Thank you very much. We've uh, truly appreciated your friendship over the years and uh, obviously look forward to many, many more birthdays uh, having the opportunity to share those with you. Happy 60th! Happy 60th, Rod. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> hey, Rod. Happy birthday. You know, as a kid, it was always so exciting to wake up in the morning and find that you had arrived in the night and you were asleep on the couch and that meant we were going to do fun stuff go for a motorcycle ride or go for a ride in one of your cool cars go to the movies it was always fun having you around and one of my favorite memories as an adult was going to Baltimore with you and we went to this little restaurant and we bought buckets of mussels and clams and had ice-cold Coors Light and it was maybe the best seafood I've ever had but my favorite thing about you is that you are still the only person who calls me by my childhood nickname. And I think it's wonderful. Have a great birthday. I love you. So every time I'm with Rod Mast, I always have the most interesting stories, conversations, discussions that are so outside uh, things that I normally talk about and I just think he is like one of the most interesting guys I've ever met in my life. His travels, his jaunts to every single country in the world, you know, his bucket list. The guy's amazing. So, Rod, happy birthday and uh, you're my hero. Hi, Rod. Happy birthday. So, the thing that, oh, you know what, in Toastmasters they tell us never to begin with so, so I'm going to start over again. The thing that I love about Rod is he has dedicated his life to making this world a better place. His preservation of the turtles, the leatherbacks, is just, is bar none, and, it, and he's devoted his life to this. I love him so much because he has taken care of and is married to one of my most favorite best friends in the world, Angela, and has two beautiful sons. And he's just an inspiration. I love his dedication. I love that he wants all of us to live in a better world. And that's truly, truly admirable. I just want to have a toast. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Rod. Well done, man. Hola Rod, feliz cumpleaños! Uh, Claudia and I send you a big, big hug here from Amsterdam and uh, I want to tell you that we're thinking about you and uh, that we were having a really, really good time over there. Um, Angela got us a very difficult task to choose just one uh, memory uh, <laughs> that uh, we have with you and I think one that I hold the dearest to my heart is that time that you organized the farewell party for me at your house. You invited Mr. Leatherback and Mrs. Carey, of course. And, um, and you uh, made me feel part of, uh, of, of your family. And that's a feeling that has never left me and that I've always um, had with me. I, uh, I also think that one of the things that makes you the most special is how you can see the silver lining in every situation that you can um, 
you can be an optimistic person uh, even in rough times and uh, I've taken that as, as, a, as a teaching of you as a mentor and I want to take uh, your optimism with me everywhere I go. I send you a big, big hug. Um, we miss you very much and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Rod. It's your 60th, that's a big one. Hope you're having a great day. Sorry I can't be there to celebrate with you. So the favorite thing, what is my favorite thing about Rod Mast? I think the favorite thing is you're my little brother. I love that you're my little brother. I'm so proud of you. You're awesome. And favorite memory, it was pretty great when I saw you standing making a giant drawn fingerprint in my studio when you didn't even think you could make art. You could. You did. It was awesome. <laughs> um, so I'm just so excited to be doing this project with you. Finally. Feels like a big life mission of mine is to remember back to our time in the Galapagos and being together and discovering so much at the same time in terms of a marine life and now sort of coming back full circle to to show my gratitude and my love for the for the ocean and and how important and exciting this project is going to be wow so have a great birthday I love you. Talk soon. Bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Rod. Okay. Hey, Rod. This is Chip. We're down at a uh, Long Beach Island, New Jersey homeowner uh, constructed turtle sanctuary as you see in the background. Of course it's reminding us of you and one of the um, things that I most admire about you Rod is your service to this planet as represented by what we see behind us. Uh, your positivity is amazing, even when you talk to us about things like microplastics in the ocean, you still can do it with a smile because you're a hopeful kind of a guy. And I find that inspiring. So thank you so much, Rod. We love you very much. And now, we'll switch over to Lori. Go. Hey, Rod. This is the turtle, the leatherback that reminds me of you. And I agree with Chip about your positivity. And um, I just wanna wish you the happiest of birthdays and thank you for all that you do. And one of my favorite memories is when we all gathered in the backyard on your deck and had a wonderful drumming ceremony to honor the earth. Um, and so in honor of that, and in honor of your birthday, Chip and I will reminisce on the drumming ceremony. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rod. Happy birthday to you. You're amazing, and I hope you have the best birthday ever. Um, my thing, my favorite thing about Rod is that he's, you know, he's really understanding and really helpful, especially when you need some advice. So one of my favorite memories about him is, um, about like last year I was getting ready to give my first keynote speech and I was super nervous and I was excited, but just, I was, I was so nervous I started crying and we were at Amanda's brother's graduation party, like not a place where I should have been crying about anything, but I started crying and Rod sees me and comes over and starts asking me what's going on and he 
I told him, and he told me this amazing story about um, who's the guy that that um, played Indiana Jones? Forgot his name. I should know his name. Harrison, Harrison Ford. <laughs> um, so he tells me this amazing story about Harrison Ford and how you know he also has a huge fear of public speaking and this story just you know completely made me feel better really helped me out and the way that Rod told the story the way that he sort of almost started crying with me um, just really helped me feel better and made me feel more prepared to give that speech and I, I was able to do it well in the end so uh, that's my favorite memory of Rod and I love telling that story too because now I know a fun story about Harrison Ford. <laughs> um, but yeah, Dad, what's your what's your favorite thing? Hey, Rod, my favorite uh, memory of Rod is uh, uh, the Garba Dandia night. You came, uh, and obviously Angela can do very good dance, and uh, you won the prize. The people actually came and asked your name, and you kind of like were surprised, but. I have always believed that dance like nobody is watching and, and Rod follows that and he was into it. I, I uploaded a couple of uh, video clips of, uh, from that day. I hope you enjoy it and welcome to our club. Uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful <laughs> uh, time and uh, we love you. We have many, many more uh, uh, celebrations to come. and uh, mm -hmm best in life and everything uh, yeah. you inspire us with your environmental work and uh, thank you so much for uh, all the work that you do yeah happy birthday happy birthday don't you wish we could be there for rod's 60th birthday 60 he's gonna be 60 no way 60 years of saving turtles saving rainforest he's been an influential person hasn't he yes yeah, saving lemurs in Saving our, oceans? In our own lives. I mean, we use less plastic, less paper, and it's all because of Rod. That's right. I wish I was in Washington, D.C. I know. To give Rod a We're, hug. I'm so glad we got to go to the wedding. Wasn't that fun to My see him? My goodness. And he's a good father. He's a good father. And a good wife. He's a good wife? <laughs> or he has a good wife? I think he's a good husband. I think he's Okay, all right. <laughs> He's a good husband. Well, I'm with you. Well, it's too bad we can't be there, but should we do what we always do when we miss Rod? We just want a little piece of Rod? Yes, let's do that. I've got a great book here. Me too. Did Rod write this book? I think he was just the main influence, really. I think it was probably uh, dedicated to him, inspired by him. Uh, it's really all about him. And so is mine, really. There's no greater person. Rod is a great guy. Rod, we miss Rod so much. It's unbelievable. Happy birthday, Rod! Wish we were there! Happy birthday, Rod! Welcome, welcome to Club 60. Yay! Woo! It's Rod's 60th birthday. What's your favorite thing about Rod? <laughs> Is it his hair? <laughs> Unique New York. Unique New York. Oh, hi there. Rod Mast, 60th birthday. Well, happy birthday, Rod. We're very excited to be celebrating your birthday with you and to have you in our lives and to be a part of your life. So um, a minute is not nearly enough time for me to tell uh, even one of the many, many Rod Mass stories that I have. Uh, so instead, I'll just say uh, what it is that, that's my favorite thing about Rod, which is his optimism. Uh, Rod is possibly the most positive and optimistic person uh, I've ever met and I just really appreciate how you always have a positive outlook even at times uh, when it really doesn't look that positive. Uh, you have a really great way of seeing the world and I just appreciate uh, being around that. So with that I'll pass it on to you, Jim. Um, my favorite 
I want to share a favorite memory, and it's one that I get to relive often, a memory of Rod, because people still ask me who the turtle was at my wedding, and uh, at our wedding, and it was Rod, of course, and it was great, and out of all the things that I planned for the wedding, that was one that I didn't plan, but it was obviously the best, and it was fun for everyone, and completely natural in the end that we would have a sea turtle dancing at our wedding, and thanks to Rod. So Rod, Mr. Leatherback, we love you very much and we wish you a very happy 60th birthday and look forward to celebrating with you today and, and many more times to come. So bye bye. Happy birthday. Hi, I'm Kim Scudera and I am a friend and admirer of Rod Mass. This is my tribute to him on the occasion of his birthday. The thing that I think is extraordinary about Rod, aside from his extraordinary taste in wife, is that long before we all started to engage with the hashtag no more straws movement and other anti-plastic movements that are intended to protect sea life, Rod was already there. Rod's been there uh, and I just want to take this moment to express my appreciation for everything he's done throughout his life to protect the oceans, to protect all of the wildlife that lives in those oceans, um, and for everything that he's going to continue to do in the future. I know that his impact on our world is tremendous, yeah. and I wanted to take the time to let him know that. Anyway, thanks Angela for giving us all the opportunity to film these tributes and I hope you all have a wonderful time at Rod's party. Cheers. Peace. Birthday, Rod. Happy birthday Rod. Big 6-0 to the best little brother-in-law ever. Yeah, best little brother. We love you. Hope yeah. to see you in San Francisco soon. Have a good birthday. Bye-bye. Feliz cumpleaños Rod. Wishing you a very happy birthday. We love you so much. Que la pases We're grateful muy for bien you. Junto con la familia. <laughs> Viva Colombia. <laughs> Viva. Viva. Feliz